A Houston police investigator gave testimony saying then 16-year-old Antonio Armstrong Jr. did not appear to be scared, nervous, or in shock while being interviewed by two homicide detectives the morning his parents, former NFL player Antonio Armstrong Sr. and Don Armstrong were murdered as they slept in their Bel Air area home back in 2016 and his interrogation interview was played for jurors. The detective also says A.J. never mentioned seeing an intruder in the 16-minute 911 call, but later told investigators he saw a masked man. Prosecutors say alarm records show the home alarm was set just before 10 p.m., and there's no activity until a motion sensor is activated on the second floor of the home at 1.09 a.m., although all doors were still closed, according to alarm records. The first floor motion sensor isn't triggered until 1.25 a.m., where the gun and note were found in the kitchen. A.J. calls 911 at 1.40 a.m., then alarm records show the system was disarmed and the front door was opened when Antonio Jr. and his sister left the house to meet waiting police officers. A.J.'s attorney says he plans to show jurors the alarm wasn't working properly. The defense also showed jurors a number of text messages between A.J. and his parents where his mom and dad are praising him in the months before the murders, in contrast to messages shown by prosecutors displaying parents who were extremely disappointed. Defense attorney Rick DeToto also points out text messages Antonio Jr. sent to his girlfriend before prosecutors say he executed his parents. 90 minutes before this happened, he's in bed flirting with his girlfriend, um, talking about how I love you, how I want to get married. I mean, that's totally inconsistent with someone who's angry, suicidal, homicidal. The trial is set to resume at 9 a.m. An alarm expert is scheduled to testify for the prosecution. At the Harris County Criminal Courthouse, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.